Well, she's back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, hope you're all holding in there. <laughs> oh, let's pray we all hold in there. Everybody needs to take a deep breath. Me, me, really. I need to take three deep breaths. I was doing some chanting yesterday when I was swimming, and I don't know what's so great about chanting. It seems to nourish the whole body, but I think a lot of it is the ones I do is is deep breaths, and they clean out the chakras, and that uh that makes a difference. Uh, because sometimes when you don't get a whole lot of activity in your life and you're older, and even I walk at, at least whatever. I've been doing really good the last couple of months. I've been walking over an hour every evening and maybe only missing one evening a week. But, uh, but that's still not enough deep breathing for somebody my age. So that's why I think the swimming and the chanting is so good. But I don't want to bore you with here I, I wasn't going to talk about me and there I went talking about me uh, I hope you're all doing great uh, not watching so much news that it just gets you down I know I just want sometimes want to pull my hair out and probably anyone watching this does too if they're paying attention to what's going on but um But I want to remind everybody, I know I've done this before, and we all know this, but remind all your friends that voting is a tool, and it's the only tool we have right now. And even though it may not be our favorite tool in the tool shed, <laughs> and you know, if you don't really actually back the person you're voting for, it's still a tool. You need to vote blue no matter who and get them in there, and then if you think that they should go one way or the other, maybe they can be nudged with the right encouragement and the other people coming into office. And um, we need to get that fascist out of there. I think that instead of fascist, I called him a fattist, but <laughs> maybe that was a Freudian, Freudian slip there. And I don't usually ever use that word because I've fought with that, I've fought with that all my life. But anyway, um, I wonder um, you know we got to get him out of there uh, I don't know what the Republicans would have done if this would have been Barack Obama but uh, well first of all he'd never got <laughs> impeached already if they'd have got him as far to impeach him they'd have had him impeached even if he hadn't done nothing but um if any Democratic, that, we don't even have to use Barack Obama for the, for the example. If any uh, Democratic president was tearing the post office apart so he wouldn't be elected out of office by the voters and so the votes couldn't be counted they would have sent the military into getting they they would have done something there's got to be a way to stop this uh, I know a lot of you really like Nancy Pelosi but and I'm not and she can't control everything but she is the head of the house and they shouldn't be on vacation. They should be going back, calling these people in right away. Anybody that has anything to do with the post office ought to be subpoenaed right up to Capitol Hill right now, today, not not tomorrow, the next day, but not not a month from now. It needs to be done now. They're taking these sorters out, and they're literally sh putting them in dumpsters and actually damaging them where they can't work again. And. Uh, that's costing the voters thousands and thousands. It's just like stealing out of the voters' pockets. It's like taking money and taking it out of the voters' pockets. The, everything they tear down in there. And anyway, I'm not going to keep... It's going to work out. 
No matter what happens, it's going to work out because we're going to have a tsunami. Tsunami. We're going to have a blue tsunami. So, uh, so I didn't even see some of this stuff here. I'm just going to do four cards across really quick for, and I didn't even, that wasn't in my plans. But the Russians are saying they have a vaccine, and I hope the hell, from what I understand, maybe Trump's already sending money to them. God, I hope not. But I'm just going to draw four cards because to see, and I'm not going to do a big reading on it, I'm just going to do four across. First, I'm going to ask, do they have a vaccine? I don't want to use these cards for it. I want to ask, do they have a, a vaccine? And then, if it's, is it safe? And it's just going to be four quick ones. Get this done quick, because I've got some stuff I want to ask. Well, they're telling the world they've got one. <laughs> and we do have the Russian card here, so we're right on here. Well, at least Trump's telling the world. I usually don't think of him as the king of wands. But I also don't think of Putin as the king of wands. Anyway, yeah, here's Trump touting it. Here's the town crier crying it out. People around the world are kind of talking about it because it's being pushed out there. And this is Russia, so they have something. Of course, almost, I, I think all the countries have got something so far. But since they're saying that they've got this and it's coming out, blah, 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 let's see, is it safe? Well, at least they... Oh, there's Trump's announcement and Trump and Putin being together. Somebody's worked on this. Trump and Putin have worked on this together already to announce this. He's trying to help the Russians gain esteem. Trying to put light on it and have people trust the Russians, even though probably most countries don't. Oh, we got the Queen of Swords. I'd say no. I'd be right saying no. Not no, but hell no. No, this, this, if they do come out with a vaccine, it's not going to be safe. Maybe for a few people, but, but not, not really a safe vaccine. Not at all. Got three swords here. No. So I said this wouldn't be safe. The Ace of Swords came out saying, hell no, it wouldn't be safe, just like you just said. And then here's, for some people, maybe just a few, or maybe half the people, but it could be deadly to the other half. So no, it, it's, not a, it's not a place to jump into. And if you're watching this for the first time, my name's Lynn, and uh, I've read tarot cards for 50 years, and I love doing it. That doesn't make me good at it or any better than anybody else. I'm, I'm just amazed at how good a lot of these readers are. Uh, but anyway, if you'd like a personal reading, it's lynntarotreading at gmail.com. lynntarotreading at gmail.com. Oh, it might help if I put my mic on. I'll probably start that and you won't be able to hear me. I didn't realize I didn't have my mic on. But it was probably picking me up. Let's hope it was picking me up. Um, so, I'm not going to start over again on this. Maybe I could. Maybe I could. I don't, I've already put the cards back in there. Anyway, that first reading was for... Russia, the first line is, did they really have a, a vaccine? And the second one was, is it safe? 
and they do have something they've been working on and looks like to them it's kind of developed but they're always getting in a hurry you know about it look at their Chernobyl and all that they don't any they're real sloppy remember that but anyway in the second uh, row said no it wasn't even, it was gonna hurt about half of the people so no I don't feel like that's a done deal and uh, I want to, you probably heard it all week, but I want to mention Kamala Harris really quick. I'm very glad she got picked. Out of what he had to pick from, she was the best choice. Very proud of Joe. Might start calling him Uncle Joe again. Very proud of him for making that decision. And uh, that was a good, that was a good choice. I wonder if she's sharp and she's exactly what Joe Biden needs at this time in his life by his side really glad to see her that pick and um, so I'm gonna do this different than I've ever did it uh, there's so many different readings going so many different directions and the news changes every five minutes so I'm I was talking to my guides and ha asking them to and I want to do a reading on where these people are going to be in six months from now see what they look like six months from now and that would give us more of an idea what comes into fruitation to see what things look like and the first one is this Louis de, Louis de Joy or you know we know what he is he's a freaking asshole but uh but where is he gonna be six months from now so this D. Joy, that's in charge of our post office right now, where is he going to be in six months? Which is right close to the time when the inauguration should be, no matter who, what happens. Where is this Louis D. Joy going to be? What's, what's going to be going on with him? What's going to be going on in his life, not where is he going to be? What's going to be going on in his life? What emotions, what, what's going on in his life? What's going on with him six months from now? Anyway. Where is Louis? Louis, is it Louis D. Joy? What a name for somebody that's tearing, tear, literally tearing America apart with his and he has conflicting interests he has some kind of delivery company or something well, I don't like that well that's where he thinks he's gonna be okay he thinks he's gonna be on the winner's horse but it looks like he's gonna be walking away Defeated and walking away. And for the foundation, we got a woman here. So let's hope that's Kamala Harris. Why the woman instead of a man, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Government's switched over. He's afraid he's going to get prosecuted when this is all over. His fortune's definitely changing to terrible. So it's been good up to then, terrible. He's going to make the excuse that he was working really hard for the Republican Party. But the Dems come in and just, uh, just over, overpower the situation. He's afraid he's going to have to give some of this money up 
that he's got stashed all over and that he has personally has and his companies and stuff. He thought it was going to set his family up for life. But his faith was changed because the truth came out. He, this is, he definitely could be getting close to getting prosecuted. People are wanting that to happen. He's worried about being prosecuted. He knows his whole world has flipped over. People are working hard. A lot of people behind bringing these people to justice. They want to bring these people to justice. They're screwing with this election and screwing with our government. Let's hope that we let them do it instead of use phony liberal politics or something to get in the way. Um... A senator from California, I can't remember his name, came out today and wants to start a, a commission to investigate presidential crimes. And I hope the heck that they do that. I hope that's what that was all about. It was pretty plain that he isn't going to be in a very good place. It wasn't what I was hoping I'd see hang men and death cards and everything else. But we did see the total change, which is good. The government's going to totally change over. So that looks like he, Trump's definitely going to lose the election from what came up. It's next. What I was going to... I was going to see, where, where's Kamala Harris in six months? Our Kamala, I'm not quite, I always called her Kamala, but maybe that's an okey way to say it. I'm going to start saying Kamala. Where's Kamala Harris? Don't fall. It did. Well, hopefully she'll be helping the poor. <laughs> That's the card that fell. Should have put that up to overpower the reading. So where is Kamala Harris going to be? Six months from now, Inauguration Day. Where is Kamala Harris going to be? Is she going to be a star or is she going to be... What's going on with her on Inauguration Day? Oh, wow. This is good. The world's going to be watching her. <laughs> and boy, did she have to be powerful. She was about ready to pull her teeth out and get in there. It's going to be a rough six months for her, but she's thinking of all the eggs she had to walk over without breaking to get there. And it looks like she got there with the world card right there. The foundation has changed, and it's, it's going to be a total change for her, for any woman, for anybody to become vice president, but especially the first woman. She's going to have all <laughs> kinds of corporate corporate money being thrown at her. We want you to do this. We want you to do that. Most we're already promising to donate to her campaign or whatever else she needs it for. Um, in the sky, we got the five of uh, cups which it's going to be a happy and a sad day. Now, this is really weird. Um, I feel like this card is saying she's where she wanted to be. I hope this isn't Joe Biden sick or something. I'm not trying to start tales, but... But it's like, this is just for her, and it's like, she's got it. She had to walk on eggs over mountains to get it. It's a total change of life. She's already got the people, the corporates coming after, wanting her to do this and do that. But there's an unhappiness there because there's something missing. 
there's something missing there's something something just not quite right well she knows that it's her first she's not only the first woman you know she's the first whatever she's she's this is total new beginnings so that's good the new beginnings it looks like Joe Biden's going to be really good it looks like he's going to be right there helping her or either this is her just taking over the mantle taking over the we're reading on her I keep thinking of them together because they're running together but this is this is her taking that chariot and taking off here we got the king of pentacles just jumping in there right away the environment around her wanting to fix this government she wants to fix it so it looks like she, and this is great because that's this goes with the world card goes with the new beginnings she's definitely going to be the vice president from these cards she knows she's going to have to look in every corner she's enough of a prosecutor that's another reason i'm glad she got in there because she's enough of a prosecutor she knows that she's going to have to uh, investigate Trump. You can't just let that go. It would just be total justice unserved. And she's afraid that's going to piss a lot of people off. But she's already made a deal, hopefully with Joe Biden and the people, that she's not going to let this go. That they are going to go after Trump and his company. Not because he was president, but for for everything he's done since he became president so uh this looks really good because by looking at these cards i would say that she definitely wins this election and she can't win it unless well i don't know anyway her it looks like her and biden are going to go all the way with this election definitely be their inauguration day new beginnings new beginnings the world, the covenant between the vice president and the president both getting inaugurated. Uh, yeah, definitely. She's definitely going to be, definitely going to be the next vice president. Set them on top because I'm not going to use these again, I don't think. The next one is uh, Biden. Let's see where Biden's at on Inauguration Day. before but not very it's not a really a, what I call a good shuffle it does move them around though anything that moves the cards so this is for Biden 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 where is he going to be on inauguration day where is Joe Biden going to be on inauguration day we got nostalgia so that might be a good sign because that's one of his cards he comes up him and Barack Obama the nostalgia for the past we got the winner card here got the ten of coins that sounds good that sounds really good people ten of coins new relationship new covenant that's between him and the lovers but it doesn't mean sexual lovers it means new partnership between him and Kamala already trying to figure out what's going on overseas and how much damage has been done because uh, as soon as they get this nomination they're going to start showing them 
I think they have to start showing him the briefing or something every day, if I'm not mistaken. That's what they did to Trump before he got in there, once he got the nomination. Uh, already trying to figure out what he's going to do about Russia and everything going on overseas. He's kind of feeling excited and exhausted at the same time because there's so much shit out there to take care of. So much more so even when him and Brock went in after... Uh, after Bush, he's going to have to be careful that he don't overdo it, and that it don't end up putting him in a sick bed. And I knew this was coming. I was going to talk about this in one of my videos. I feel, I feel that when Biden goes in there, that they're going to find all the coffers in the United States so empty that it's going to just cause a shock. I, I, just all the way through, maybe all over the world when the, when the news gets out of baby. But you know, when, uh, when Hillary and Bill went in after the first Bush, they were shocked because he had been, you know, he was a, at least a legitimate legitimate president and he had been saying how much money they were spending and they found out that there had been about twice as much money spent so they spent their whole eight years they were in office building it back up and even got us out of debt we'll have to say that for them and then uh, the same thing when the Obamas went in after the second Bush it was uh, well we know where it was we were in the toilet we were almost in Oh, you know, in the worst, almost into a depression. It would have been if they hadn't did some quick finagle in there. And now, after just four years of handing it back over to the Republicans, I think, I think they're going to go in there and find almost everything emptied out. So we got the moon, deep diving and hidden secrets. That's before I... That's the environment around it. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to feel like paupers almost when they go in and look at that. Let's see what they've done to the government. That's going to be much harder because they're going to want to, I want to say prosperity, but that's not what they call it. But we're, you know, almost a lot of the countries did it after the stock market fell last time. But they're, want to, they're going to want to cut back on everything, you know. At least we won't have... If there's any money at all left in there, it won't be controlled by the Republicans. So maybe the austerity, that's the word I was looking for. Maybe they will actually give it to the poor to try to get, actually, to get the energy going to recoup from a recession or a depression. And there's going to be a lot of arguing about that. But it looks like he definitely, definitely, definitely is getting in there. So he's going to be there. It's not like, um, you know, I don't even see the star car here. He's going to have to be careful to keep from from being sick. It's going to be, um, it's always a hard job for anybody, and it's really going to be hard for whoever goes in there this time. I, let's just hope and pray that those are right. And the next one's going to be, um, Trump. Where's Trump going to be? Where is Trump going to be on Inauguration Day? If these cards all come out just great, I'm just leaving. <laughs> I'm turning the camera off and I'm leaving. <laughs> going to say night all. Oh, come on. Let's do him some more. Come on. Where's Trump going to be? Where's Trump going to be? Where's Trump going to be? On inauguration day. Where's Trump? Probably on some island off Russia. 
what was the name of that country they took over where they actually got C? <laughs> Oh, who knows? But let's see, where is Trump going to be on Inauguration Day? I think most of us pretty much feel if he loses this election that he won't be there to hand power over. That he's just going to be like a little two-year-old and walk out like he does out of the press conferences. We gotta, we're dealing with a three-year-old child here. Where's Trump going to be on ignore? Going to be on a sick bed. He's going to be sick. That's, that's a good place for him. Because he knows all these secrets are coming out. There's the high priestess. He knows his junk is coming out. <laughs> and the foundation of the reading the Civil of Pentacles. I think that's going to be my card. My card for, uh, I have to remember she's the Pentacles. For Kamala Harris from now on, it's going to be Civil of Pentacles. So even though she's not supposed, well, she's not poor, that's for sure. Her, her husband's a huge businessman in San Francisco. But this isn't so much money. This is just so much she's going to be. She's going to be after him. She's going to make sure she, her and Joe get the right people in there to take care of this. That's another reason why I was glad to see him appoint her. Maybe Trump finally realizes that he fricked up. Look at this card. We've got the four cups here. Somebody sitting here trying to figure out what they did wrong. I don't think he'd ever figure that out because he always thinks he's perfect no matter what. I don't know. This is like the mercenary card. Um, maybe he'll be already working on somebody else he can harm or hurt or something still hasn't given up any of his animosity that's in the sky hopefully it's uh, some people from our government coming after him like that but we'll, we'll have to wait and see about that and right after the inauguration stuff in the immediate future when they find out how bad stuff is they're even going to be afraid to let it out they're not even going to let it out to the public for, I don't know how long, you know how you can't tell how long, but for just a little while, we're not even going to know how bad he robbed us. He knows his tower is down. Finally got the tower, first tower in these readings. That's him, himself, what's going on inside of him. He knows his whole world is kaput. And he's trying to get out of town, get out of the country. I'd say get out of the country as quick as he can and go somewhere. Somewhere where he's got a lot of money stashed. Probably maybe in Arab Emirates country, countries, one of those countries in Arab em, Emirates. Am I saying that right? Arab em, Emirates, yeah. In Saudi Arabia or something. Got a lot of money stashed somewhere and he's trying to get there. I don't think he gets there. And this is Kamala Harris again. Or whoever she appoints Attorney General. She may appoint a woman as Attorney General. But anyway, yeah, that's the law coming after him. They are after his, him already. So he's trying to get out of town, get to where he's got a lot of money stashed. His towers came down. His secret's coming out. 
he's sick about it and there's going to be so many secrets revealed so that's what trumps so that i like that <laughs> i'm happy with that i was kind of worried when i was cutting those cards up i thought oh my god what if he gets the star and <laughs> anyway feel better about that and then i had one more deck here and i was just going to do a four across for somebody really really quick that i want to see lose his race so bad and if you're wanting to donate to anybody that that's progressive you want to donate to a justice democrat right now um alex morris needs this money go onto his website i think it's under alexmorris.com he's he's running against richie neal he votes for the republicans all the time has more money than anybody in congress has gotten richer than anybody in congress he, well he takes more corporate money than anybody more corporate money than anybody else in congress slandering his opponent opponent in this race even though he's a democrat i don't know why they don't fight that hard against republicans when they run against them but there's a justice democrat and if, if people don't understand what a justice democrat is because somebody from my family didn't even realize what that was it's people that got voted into office and are trying to get voted into office without any corporate money it's only money by donations from the people the people that support them and the people around them no corporate money and if there's been they've opened up the door i think for four more of them to come in anyway if everybody got elected that's running right now on a as justice democrats there would be 10 of them in congress with the ones that are there already aoc's a justice democrat uh the, the whole squad is justice democrats but they're not the only ones there's a couple more in there so uh so anyway if that sounds like a good idea to you to get money out of politics go and give some money to alex morris's campaign against richie neal he's the one that what that just screwed around and wasn't about to get trump's tax returns those whole time just sitting around with his finger up his butt anyway he's not in my district and i don't have that much to give but i'm sending some money that direction especially since i found out he tried to anyway what he pulled last week on him so this is just four cards across real quick richie neal where are you going to be on inauguration day five of wands you'll be fighting with somebody arguing you're going to be sad Art. this is yeah this is even right now he's worried but we're going for inauguration you're going to be sad This is where the challenge was the high priestess. So I'm feeling like this is truth coming through. His challenge was the truth of his situation came through. And he's uh, piling up his ill-gotten go goods and leaving. I love this. I love this. It looks like he's not going to win. It looks like that this... Uh, Alex Morris could literally beat him. I know there's a lot of people that are going to pitch in because um, I follow that. But anyway, uh, don't have to think like I do. You can love your progressive Democrats. I mean, not progressive, your, uh, uh, <laughs> I was going to say materialistic ones, corporate, you know, that all have, get in and, and keep all the big money donors happy. But if, if you're not trying to get money out of politics and you're following a whole lot of really like a lot of the corporate democrats then you're not voting for yourself you're voting against yourself unless you're <laughs> elon musk or something but if you're just a normal working person you're voting against yourself if you're not trying to get the money out of politics so anyway like i said we all got assholes opinions are like assholes but uh Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. That's what I was going to say. 
But anyway, I just wanted to thank anybody that stayed this long to watch this reading. I'm trying to figure out how to get the the commercials off these. I notice I watch YouTube all day long. I noticed the last two weeks it's gone absolutely crazy with commercials. It doesn't matter what. Even if you're watching the Sam Cedar show or shows that are on every day that aren't that long, they're even cutting into them. I know that uh, Glenn... Uh, I watch him every day. I can't think of his Kushner, Glenn Kushner. They're they're cutting in with commercials on his, and his is only about five or six minutes long sometimes. So, uh, Johnny told me fr from Tarot Apprentice how to uh, maybe get some of these off of there. I can't do it from my uh, iPad, but I have a friend that's got a computer, and I'm going to see if I can get him to come over and turn some of these off. If it, that's how it used to work. But I'm wondering if they just changed the whole internet because it it doesn't matter whose show it is. Anyway, I love you all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you did, don't forget to do the thumbs up. And and if you've, you know, if you like it and it's the first time you see me, push the... <laughs> yeah. Push that button there that says that you're going to subscribe. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. Too late at night for me again. I was going to do this earlier. Anyway, I want to thank everybody, and I want to, oh, I want to thank Becca for doing that, showing me how to do a reading with her this week, and I want to thank Johnny for letting me do one with him, and, and I just loved it so much, and it was, it was so much fun. It was almost like having company come over, and you know how much we all long for company right now. Anyway, good night, everybody. Thank you so much.